Hey guys, welcome back to episode 12 of Cryptozoology's Survival Let's Play. In last episode, we got full netherite gear and we also got a beacon, as you can see in my inventory right here. So what I think I'm going to do this episode is set up a bit of a mine and set up the beacon and get haste 3 on it and then we can dig for a bunch of stone, cobblestone, minerals, you know, diamonds, all of that good stuff that we need for building and for tools and everything. And I think I'm gonna build a mine shaft kind of thing on this island here. But before we do that, we need a way to get over there. So I think I'm going to build a bridge from about here and then over onto this side right here. If I can fly over here. And then uh, we'll build like a natural looking kind of cave thing that goes down a bit and then drops down to Y level 11. So I think I'm going to do a bit of a time lapse of building up a bridge right here. So uh, sit back and enjoy some music while I build up a bridge. Alright guys, so I've done some basic terraforming to this place, kind of fixing some of the sand areas and evening it out, and then I also added this little area out here, because you can um, see that it was like underground, but it didn't actually come up above the water, like right down in here. So I thought that uh, kind of fixed the shape of it and looked pretty cool. So if we go up into the sky, you can kind of see how it's looking right here. But uh, yeah, it's actually kind of bigger than I thought, so we're going to have to find something to fill this whole place up. I was thinking of doing like some palm trees or something, but uh, I don't think that would really fit the area because I'm thinking this area is kind of like cooler or something. It might not have palm trees like that. But uh, basically where the actual mine thing is going to be is basically in like the center of this island. So if we use some, uh, make these into path blocks, you can see kind of where I'm thinking it'll be like this and then it'll start kind of spiraling down something like this and then keep going down for a bit a custom cave so um yeah, you can kind of see how it look and then on the outside here we'll add like big crane things and stuff that could lift things out and stuff like that and then um maybe we'll actually like do that and then build a path around here to this other side and then maybe they'll have like some sort of building for storage here or in this area we could do like a lighthouse but uh, I'm gonna keep thinking about it while I wor start working on this cave area so uh, let me get some work done on this and then I'll show you guys it okay guys so I decided to just do another time lapse here and this one's quite long it's probably like four hours or something of actual work and I kind of went crazy and just decided I wanted to fully renovate this island and just get it done. So right here, what you're seeing is me building a crane and I used the new chain block for the first time and that was a lot of fun. It looks uh, really great. But uh, basically, I decided for this island here, I wanted to be building a bunch of trees on it and a bunch of rocks and stuff to make it kind of look like this sandy, rocky area where they're taking all this, uh, all these minerals out and getting all this iron, gold, all these things that they're using for making tools and armor and uh, you know, all that good stuff. So I decided to kind of build a path leading around it. And then um, on the lower side of the island, you can see where it's all, all sand. I'm, I eventually build two different buildings. One is kind of 
like a sort of warehouse storage area and then the other one is kind of where I guess the people that are working in the mine would sleep and there's also a tiny little dock off the back for if they wanted to like throw some of the stuff they're digging out onto a boat right there instead of bringing it over the bridge so yeah you can see I added a bunch of rocks and all that stuff to make this place look like how I wanted it and uh, this is a really fun kind of terraforming project I haven't really done one this big in a while so it was a lot of fun actually and building all these trees was a lot of fun too it's just using this super simple design and they're meant to kind of look like these uh, small smaller kind of spruce trees I guess you could say but uh, I'll probably probably do a tutorial on how to build them you can easily build one in like under a minute or something like that and uh, I don't know I think something corrupted with the replay mod because you can see in the path there's all these like holes and stuff but that's actually not there when I'm in the game as you'll see later on but uh, yeah, I'm building the first house here, and I decided to do kind of a similar palette as our warehouse, if you guys saw that episode. But uh, using the dark oak, and then using the uh, warped wood, whatever it's called, from the nether for the roof, the blue stuff. And uh, I think it's, that looks pretty sick. So yeah, and I'm also using barrels in the window, and that's kind of like a different design, something I haven't done in this uh, world yet. But I've uh, done it before and I think it's kind of a neat little idea using it to make it look kind of like this uh, different type of wood or something like that. Yeah, you can see I'm throwing the roof in here. And then after that, I basically add the, you know, usual shutters and the leaves and flower pots and stuff just to add some greenery and some life and really make this place pop. And of course, using the f -Wips pack like always. But uh, basically once I got that house done, it was time to move on to the next one. So I built a path uh, wrapping around the first house and we're building this one and it's similar to our sugarcane farm house. If you guys saw that episode, kind of similar design, but uh, using the spruce roof here. And I made it on this like three diagonal, if that makes sense, three blocks and then move over a block, three blocks like that. And uh, for this I usually, I mostly just use stone and cobblestone and then stone bricks on the side just to make it look more reinforced. But with the time lapse coming to a close, let's take a look from the ground. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. We put a lot of work in, but uh, let's take a look at every single thing that we built. So you can see here we built a path over to the bridge. I didn't show this on camera, but I put this in and it just wraps around here and then you can see the bridge that we built at the start of the episode. I think it came out pretty good. It's quite a nice uh, high arch and looks kind of like a fantasy style almost. It looks pretty cool. And uh, this is the diorite in the texture pack that I'm using, f -Whips pack. But uh, yeah, as we come across the bridge here, we can see it's lit up by all these lanterns. And then we can get a look of our new island that we built. It's got all these trees on. It looks completely different than when we started, obviously. But uh, yeah, it looks quite cool. And then there's this pathway leading from off the bridge. And then it goes down into the mine shaft here. But we're going to be looking at that in just a minute. But it has more trees all around it. And then some storage or like all these crates and stuff that they would have like coal and stuff in, in them like that. And then there's uh, this little part that goes out there just for looks. But if we keep following the path, we see the house that we built here. And uh, it doesn't have an interior yet, but I did throw in like the floor and the roof. As you can see in the ceiling and all that stuff, so it's ready for an interior. But we'll do that for on uh, another day. But yeah, and then I built this uh, little cart here. It actually came out quite nice, this uh, kind of cute little design here. But uh, as we follow the path, you can see it's all terraformed here. Then we have the second building here and we go in here it also doesn't have an interior it's just basic one floor but uh if we come out the back here you can see there's this uh, little dock area so like a tiny little boat could come right here and then they could uh, throw something on some coal or something like that and then they could go off and deliver it to whoever needs it or whatever like that but uh let's go take a look at the mine because there's a quite a cool little redstone contraption in there that i want to show you guys so we can just come over here down to the pathway here and it's all you know custom cave here and uh, the crane here carrying some coal up has a few lanterns and stuff like that more crates with storage like a ladder for if they you know chipping away stuff up there or whatever 
then there's some iron in the wall here that they'd be working on but then you come over here and it just looks like it ends but when you press this button here it drops down as you can see so let's go down there and then there's this whole mine area here and that's the way back up but uh, let's go here and there's something I want to do with you guys which is start up our beacon here you can see I had to use literally all my resources I didn't have enough iron so I had to use gold my diamonds and even some emeralds to uh, get enough for a full beacon but I brought our beacon with us here and we can throw it down and there's a hole all the way up so we can get the advancement here but uh, I want to put this in like this and go for haste so yeah let's get haste too done as you can see haste too so now uh, with our pick we can just insta mine and get tons of stone and all that stuff look for diamonds and everything so that's gonna be super useful we're gonna get tons of stone for I want to build a castle so this is where we're gonna be getting like all of it and uh, as we get more iron we'll switch out the rest of this so it's a uh, fully iron and not all this diamond and stuff looking weird but uh, yeah I'm really happy with that how it came out this uh, mine area and then you can see I have a bubble column here that just shoots us right back up and we just pop out right here back onto the island easy as that and we're right back on the path and can head to where we want to go but uh, there's just one last thing that I want to do in this episode as is a tradition is to update our map and it's going to be a crazy difference this time and I should also mention that in this area there was like some little like ponds or little water hole things you could call them and I filled those all in with dirt so you're going to see that on the map as well as we update it and you can see our beacon here I put a piece of blue glass so that's why it's blue but uh, let's hop into our starter house here and we can go update our maps as you can see right here this is how it was and that's the new island and I also have uh, three item frames and three maps that we need to make so we can fill in this part so we can see our full island but to start let's update um, this map here as you can see here a bit of a pathway on that this one you can see the bridge it's looking super cool and then this one like I filled in some of the water I don't know if it'll even show on this map but uh, yeah not really but yeah the more like over down here I'm pretty sure but yeah so it's looking pretty cool but what I'm gonna do is make these three maps and then throw them in here and then I will show you guys our fully completed map okay guys so I created the new maps so let's go throw them in the item frames and then you can see how our new expanded map is looking so uh, this one goes right here I believe this one should be right here and then we have two more this one's there and then this one's right here so you can see our new map with our new island is looking super sweet and uh, it looks really cool with this uh, the bridge connecting it but uh, yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode I put a lot of work into it been working on it for a few uh, in real life days so I'd really appreciate it if you guys could uh, hit that like button if you did enjoy and uh, make sure to subscribe if you guys want to see future projects in the next episode we're gonna be working on this area right here and kind of completing our town so that we can uh, start on our next project which I'm thinking is going to be a castle most likely so definitely be on the lookout for that it's going to be a lot of fun I've never built a castle before so I'm looking forward to the challenge but um, yeah really really hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one bye